This video is sponsored by Blue Apron. In this video, we're going to show you how to make frozen hot chocolate, a delicious summertime treat. To get started making this delicious frozen hot chocolate, you're probably going to need a quick trip to the grocery store, although none of the ingredients are too crazy. Here's the ingredients we'll need. A bar of your favorite chocolate, about four and a half ounces, some of your favorite hot cocoa mix, regular white sugar, some heavy whipping cream, some milk, and if you want to add a little bit of extra sweetness to your dessert, some whipped cream. For today, here's the basic idea. After whipping up a few batches of our recipe, we'll show you how to produce the frozen hot chocolate using a blender, an ice cream machine, a Ziploc bag full of ice, or if you happen to have it, some liquid nitrogen. With all of our ingredients gathered, let's make our first batch and throw it in the ice cream machine. Oh, no golden ticket. Let's start by chopping up our chocolate bar into a bunch of really small pieces. We want to melt all of our chocolate in a double boiler. That's when you take one pan and put it in another pan that's full of water. This prevents the pan with the chocolate from overheating and burning your chocolate. Once you have a smooth, creamy consistency in your chocolate, it's time to add the next ingredients. Two tablespoons of hot cocoa powder, and one and a half tablespoons of sugar. Stir that in until you have a uniform consistency. It won't be as smooth as it was before. Once the sugar and hot cocoa are mixed in, let's take it off the heat and add one half cup of heavy whipping cream. At this point, I find that a whisk works a little bit better than a spatula. With the cream thoroughly mixed in, now let's add one cup of milk. At this point, what we have is a deliciously rich, extremely chocolatey mixture that's frankly a little too strong. You wouldn't want to eat this plain except maybe a teaspoonful about that size because it's really, really potent. So what we actually need to do now is water it down with water. Let's add one and a half cups of water into our mixture. With the water diluting it, it tastes like an extremely delicious but room temperature hot chocolate. So cool hot chocolate, cool chocolate, unhot chocolate. Let's make it cold. Guys, today's video is sponsored by Blue Apron. If you've never heard of them, they are a food delivery company that sends you all of the ingredients and recipes you need to make meals right at your home. Ooh, so many ingredients. It's a really cool and convenient service that's currently offering $50 off of your first two weeks of food for the first 100 people to sign up with the link down in the description. One of my favorite things about Blue Apron is that for every box you get, you can actually choose from a collection of eight different recipes and you can select the ones that you want. I've got these three right here, the sesame chicken noodles, the steak and spicy butter, Mm. and uh, the blackened ginger pork burgers. I am a huge fan of burgers, so for today, I'm gonna be trying out this one. I love the little bottles. They give you all the sauces and stuff you need and they're just like portioned out, just the right size. That's awesome. I love burgers. Yeah. Oh, these smell so good. Oh, this burger looks so good. It's got sauce kind of running down the sides of it, but I'm okay with it. I don't have a ton of experience with pork burgers, but this is really good. Like that's another great thing is like, it comes with these recipes, expand your horizons, like learn new foods, try them out and make them yourself. It's even cooler. Guys, this is amazing. Check the link in the description. The first 100 people to sign up will get $50 off of their first two weeks of food. I highly recommend the burgers. 
If you've never used one of these ice cream machines before, they're pretty simple. This container goes in the freezer for several hours to lower the temperature quite a bit, and then it just holds your liquid while it spins in this machine. Let's turn this on and pour in our mix. The ice cream machine method is very simple, but it does take some time, and while that's running, let's get our next batch started. This time we're using the blender recipe, and with the blender recipe, we now need to add three cups of ice into our blender, and then pour our mixture over that. We don't add any water, because the melting ice will dilute it enough. Once we blend up the ice, this version of the frozen hot chocolate is complete. Cheers. The blender version gives a much thinner consistency than the other three methods. So if you want a version that you drink rather than eat with a spoon, this is the way to go. Mm. Oh, it's so good. There we go. It has taken maybe 15-ish minutes, and at this point, our ice cream machine's frozen hot chocolate is just the right consistency. I can do this all day. As you can see, the ice cream maker does give us a little bit thicker of a consistency than when we make it in the blender. For our next method, we're going to be using something you may have done if you've ever made ice cream at home. That involves putting what we're going to freeze in a Ziploc bag and putting that bag inside of a bigger bag and filling the bigger bag full of ice and salt. I have here a one gallon freezer bag and a two gallon freezer bag. So we've got our smaller one gallon bag. We're gonna pour our mix into there. After adding the cream, the milk, and the water, that's about three cups of cool liquid. So this is just room temperature. We don't have to worry about it melting the bag or anything. Squeeze out as much of the air as we can. And now we just have a bag full of liquid chocolate. Now we have our bag of ice and a bunch of salt. I'm using ice cream salt. You can use other salt if you like. It should all work just as well. I'm using about eight cups of ice, and now I'll add about one cup of our salt. Get the salt and ice nice and mixed up together, and now we take our smaller bag, put it inside our larger bag. Let's just make sure it's nice and covered with our ice. I'm gonna try and suck some of the extra air out of this bag as well. That way all of the ice should pretty well stay in contact with the bag inside. And at this point, we just need to start mixing it up. We shake it and we squish it and scrunch it and just move it around because we want all that salty ice to be cooling down the mixture and we don't want it to freeze into a solid piece, we want it to freeze into a nice slush. With this method, you can kind of choose the consistency that you want. If you want it to be thicker, just keep it moving around in your ice and salt for a little bit longer. A little bit more of a drinkable consistency, just take it out sooner. After about 10 minutes of mixing our hot chocolate around inside that salty ice, we have what is most definitely not that same liquid consistency. Now let's rinse this off so we don't accidentally end up getting salt in our hot chocolate, and scoop it out and see what it looks like. Of course, I do want to rinse it very quickly so I don't warm it back up. We have one more method to try, and that is using liquid nitrogen. Let's whip up one more batch and see how quickly we can make frozen hot chocolate using that. There's our chocolatey base. Now let's add some liquid nitrogen to it and see if we can't flash freeze this sucker.
all the liquid nitrogen down inside our mixture bubbling up is giving it a really interesting frothy texture on top. As you can see, all four of these methods work great. Some people are gonna have an ice cream maker, some people won't. I think most people will have a blender, but if not, Ziploc bags are really easy to get your hands on, and that method works just as well. Of course, if you wanna get really fancy with it, you can start adding things like whipped cream and garnishes. Figure out which method works best for you and enjoy a cool, refreshing chocolate treat this summer. Mine. Guys, there's still more for you to see. That box up there will transport you directly to our last video and you should go check it out. The box down at the bottom will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And this bomb right here will subscribe you to our channel so you never miss another video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.